Hello everyone, how are you today? So this is the, uh, the video session and this is going to be uploaded on the 7th of April on Wednesday. So in this particular video, I will talk about the Palm Swiss Fran uh, because I saw uptrending. This is recorded on the 6th of April, so I record one day before, but uh, now I see that this is uptrending, so let me share my analysis and also the next scenario possibly. So once again, this video is recorded on the, uh, the 6th of April and this is still on Tuesday now. This is at uh, 8.28 a.m. in UTC time zone. So uh, yeah, before starting here, just a quick disclaimer. This information is uh, based on my own understanding, experience, knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk. So. I put my analysis on the pound Swiss franc and this time I would like to talk about the multiple time frames, daily chart and 4 hour chart. How I check these two charts, two time frames. So um, I put like this, uh, right now pound Swiss franc in a daily chart and 4 hour chart time frames show continuously bullish as per below Ichimoku confirmations. And both time frames, both date in four, both ones right now showing Kumo Senko span A is up and Kijun Sen up and Chiko span above the candles. So let me switch it to the real market. So this is the, uh, the current moving market and this is the daily chart. In the daily chart, you have seen the Kumo's up. It's very nice and very long and this is thick enough. So this is a stable uptrend. We have Senko Span B up, A up, and also Kijun Sen is pointing upwards too. And Chiko Span above the candles. So this is bullish, so that means on a daily chart basis, we can expect the market will go up on the end wave like this way. So that's the bigger picture. And also, I compare the daily chart with the 4 hour chart. And in 4, I still see that this is uptrending. We have the Kumo up. Technically, Senko Span A is up, and the Kijun Sen is pointing upwards now, and Chiko Span is technically above the candles. And after I posted the analysis, it looks like this is going bearish. And this is for our chart, so the price, the market, this candlestick is going to be closed in about 25, 28 minutes. So, in this case, because the price is going below, this uh, Kijun Sen, I will have to wait for the next 28 minutes until it closes. And if the candle close is going to be below the Kijun Sen, then this 4 hour chart uh, uptrend can be fake and it can go downwards in 4. But if the candle close is going to be above this uh, Kijun Sen, like this, then this is going to become a still bullish and the market still can go up like this way. Yeah, and also Chiko Span is also very close. So unless this forward chart is not gonna, it's, it's not gonna go up for the next couple of hours, then the Chiko Span will touch the candles and that will also be the sign of the range confirmation. So that's in four hour chart. So, but the daily chart still looks to be bullish. So in the daily chart, the price is far from the Tenkan Sen and also Kijun Sen. And Chiko Span is still, um, you know, have a distance between Chiko Span and the candlesticks here. So daily chart looks to be bullish still continuously, but for our chart is now retracing. So this is where you have to pick which one, which time frame to follow the trend. So, in my answer is um, if the candle close below the Kijun Sen, then I don't take 4 hour chart. Because in 4, it could range. It could go range or it could go retracing a little bit like this. But in the daily chart, even if you see small retracements or range in 4 hour chart, in the daily chart, this should become still a bullish. So, uh, yeah, so that means I will continuously look for the buy chance 
based on this daily uptrend. And one thing in this particular pair is that the, uh, this is Sysfran, and Sysfran has many fake setups, fake outs. So you can see that there are so many wicks pointing upwards and downwards in these areas. So this is very tricky. And this is happening in the daily chart. So in the daily chart, the market, we have these long wicks. So uh, I would say that this is very tricky. And that's why my priority to take trades on these Swiss fan pairs are lower. I tend to take trades on the uh, USD and the Euro, Pound, and JPY, and Aussie, and Canadian dollars. But I have low priority on the Swiss franc. So if other pairs are not trending and only Swiss franc pair is trending, then I will take it. Or if Swiss franc pair looks to be strongly bullish, like it, as in on this daily chart, then I will take it. But otherwise, I will focus on other major pairs. And as you might know, I won't, I don't take trades on the New Zealand pairs because New Zealand's are also very spiky in lower time frames and also higher spreads for the brokers. And that's why I avoid New Zealand pairs. Yeah, I found my strategy doesn't really work uh, in a lower time frame confirmations uh, or trade executions by 5 or 15 minute charts are not really working great in these New Zealand pairs and that's why I'm staying away. But the rules should be the same, so you can apply the same rules and when it comes to trading, you have to do by your own risk management. Okay, so that's my analysis on this pound Swiss franc. So let's see. So today is still six and of course I never know what's gonna happen tomorrow or uh, two days later. So we'll see. Um, what happens to this market. So once again, the daily chart is uptrending, so I can follow the daily chart, but in four, it's retracing. And if the candlestick is going to be below the Kijun Sen, then um, I won't take forward chart for the uptrend. So let's see how it goes. And briefly touching one hour chart, it's retracing backwards, and this looks to be bearish now. We have bearish Kumo, bearish Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, and Chikou Span. So, in one hour chart, it could go bearish still. But the daily chart is going up, so I expect in the long term, the market will go up like this. And when it happens, I will look for the buy chance. So we'll see if it happens. And uh, hopefully, uh, we, have, we become a non-losing to profitable trader by uh, watching my videos and lives like this. So uh, yeah, yeah, I should be in Japan now. And uh, yeah, I will record another video after this uh, for tomorrow. So I will see you tomorrow on the video also and see you live on Friday or Saturday. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.